one, three, five, seven. Okay. I'm gonna take it that tempo. We're gonna get a little more advanced here. If it's too fast for you, it's fine. And two, one, two, ready from G. I love this pattern. Let me change the loop back. Let's go here. <laughs> so this sounds like this. I'm gonna give you a chance to learn it real quick, okay? So play after me starting on G. Then A. Then B. C. And then on the way down, I'll teach you that part again. It's just going to be the mirror opposite. So you got it? Again, improvise your bow. But when you do improvise your bow, the way you can focus on bow control is by keeping it smooth, right? So here we go on G. you the downwards now so it's downwards from B try that and then a you play it G F sharp okay you ready let's give it a shot you can always rewind three E and a four E and a For our cello and viola friends, let's go from C. They can go down the octave, and it's going to challenge the violins. You ready? From C, M. Down from E.
down from B. Hey, nice work, nice work. Let's take just a couple more patterns here, and then I'm going to give you some play-alongs to play after me as well, okay? Um, so how about we do... We'll go from C for to solidarity with cello and viola, okay? So from here... It's just a random numerical pattern, you know? It doesn't have to be that difficult. I mean, it doesn't have to be that complex to be difficult. <laughs> And there's so many things we can focus on. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing all kinds of intonation things that I'm working on myself. You know, I'm trying to focus on supporting with the left hand, focusing on controlling my bow. Of course, I'm dealing with a couple other things here as well, but you get the point. So, um, yeah, let's do about that tempo first. Maybe we'll do it faster after that. From C, three and four and... Let's do that again. I'm going to work on my vibrato. Okay, that's great. Let's do a little play alongs now, if that's okay with you. I'll play some lines and see if you can play them back to me. I'm going to start with uh, on the note B. Can you play that? Starting on G. B. this thing about the bow. about that. Keep your bow moving.
Awesome. Awesome. Hey, good job. Hopefully you're, you're picking up some things just more about the rationale and um, the way to create your own problems for yourself over these loops. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of these loops, I'm gonna let it run for a couple minutes just so you can continue with this. And then of course I will, I think I'm gonna leave all of these loops actually and add them to the backing tracks, which you can find the links to beneath. And uh, I'm gonna keep making more lessons um, like this for advanced as well as for our younger students, ages nine to 14 and um, our high school age students, 15 to 18 as well. If there's something you'd like, please reach out to me and you're always welcome to work with me in my private online studio as well. You'll find all that stuff below. Thank you so, so much. I hope I'll see you in another lesson. I'll pick one of these vamps here for you now. And, uh, and until I see you again, happy practicing.